Good morning, good morning, everyone who connected well to my account. Welcome to my channel. Today, it's a 31st, 31st December. The new year is so near to us uh, commemorate. Uh, the topic that I'm going to carry out of my journal today is all about uh, FGC, Family Genital Cutting. As I told you yesterday, Family Genital Cutting is uh, it's an uh, ancient tradition. So it's not allowed all the time to maintain with the ladies. And it's not allowed to maintain our community because I'm a dad. Uh, I was from mom. I have sister, daughter, everything. If I do not care with them, I should not reach to the goals that I want in life to see. So the only thing that uh, we can we can we can forward to our progress is uh, saying uh, because it says that your uh, description is power. So let's speak. Let's break the sailors so that our community will remain to good. I remember in 2001. I had been working with K International in Kenya, Community Service Department, as a FGC leader. I remember some of my friends that we worked together. One of them was called Salado Muhammad Segal. The other one was called Abdi Muhammad Segal. So we were doing what the organization and what the topic was vows. But later on, we have seen that some errors came through myths and beliefs that some places were being believed. I remember that the first time Salado Muhammad Segal joined to us, then when she gave us to the name in 2001, maybe it was January or March or something that, then she didn't attend to the work due to the myth and beliefs that she committed to her parents. She said that I cannot participate, but she gave us the name and that the name we submitted to the office. Then. We sit as a group and we replaced another lady called Ladan. She was working as a Salada Muhammad Segal due to the submission that we made to the office. And uh, that barrier caused Salada Muhammad Segal because after she gave us her name, she told us, I believe myth and beliefs, so I cannot participate and they speak out family genital cutting. So from there, we can believe that there is a barrier inside into the community and we have to sort out all things so that our environment could remain to good and our health could remain to good and our goals will reach to the lines in brain we want to see we reach. In working of every family genital cutting, it's not easy. You will face some barriers, you will face some myths and beliefs, you will face some gossips, you will face some green lights that's not good in life to have. If you do not tolerate all things, your work should not remain too good. But if you tolerate and you convince people that it's an ancient tradition, it's not a good to maintain into, co in, into our communities. Things will remain too good and everything will remain too good. So to me, I conclude my topic today, family genital cutting, don't circumcise your legs. Don't allow your mother to circumcise your legs. So that your legs remain to ideology and the well legs. It's an ancient traditions, man is to error, things gone, we should not back. Let's start from today. Don't circumcise your legs.